The Lifestylist, episode 184, featuring Lauren Berlinger. I'm Luke Story. For the past 22 years, I've been relentlessly committed to my deepest passion, designing the ultimate lifestyle based on the most powerful principles of spirituality, health, psychology, and personal development. The Lifestylist Podcast is a show dedicated to sharing my discoveries and the experts behind them with you. Okay, guys, I'm about to let one of my best kept secrets out of the bag. That's right. It's not going to be a secret anymore. I'm talking about Tonic Wellness Boutique, located in central LA, a few blocks from the Beverly Center and the Grove. Tonic Wellness Boutique offers a combination of hot and cold relaxation therapies. Now, you see me talking about this stuff all the time. You know what I'm talking about? The cryotherapy, the saunas, the whole deal all proven to simultaneously revitalize and rest the body, improve blood circulation, and help activate the lymphatic system to help detoxification. Now, if you live in a city like LA or you're just traveling to a city like LA, dude, you got to detox for real. These methods also help to reduce inflammation and improve skin tone while actively promoting the release of endorphins. Those are your happy hormones. That's why things like cryotherapy and infrared saunas feel so good. They've also got something called cryoskin, which I recently did a round of, and uh, it's pretty badass. It pretty much melts fat off any part of your body. So a lot of actresses and stuff go in there. You know, it's confidential. I wish I could tell you who they were, but they're people you've heard of and models as well. Go in there and get like the fat under their chin or on the back of their arms. I just did straight up my belly and I'm seeing great results from it. It was pretty amazing and it was a lot easier than working out really hard. So they have the saunas, the cryotherapy, the cryo skin, and then they have something called pressotherapy, which uh, will help you look better, feel better, and function better. They have all the latest biohacking stuff over there. So go to tonicboutique.com to learn more. They're really cool people. Poseta, the owner, is just a fantastic person. They're super friendly and knowledgeable. And it's a great place to go, not only to feel good, but to look good. It's very Hollywood-centric. It's a very high vibe, well-designed environment. They have, of course, the clear light saunas, which are the best saunas in the world. Otherwise, I wouldn't even probably go in the saunas they have there because most of them are really high EMF and super whack. So these guys are doing it right. It's a one-stop shop. So go to tonicboutique.com to learn more. If you live in LA, you should just be there at least once a week or once a month. If you're visiting LA, I would straight up land at LAX, go to Tonic Boutique, and then continue the rest of your trip. Tonicboutique.com. Today's show is brought to you by Organifi. Now, you guys know I always talk about their green superfood powder. I take that literally every single morning, sometimes during the day. It's out of control, good, super powerful. However, I just got a hold of their new product called Organifi Gold, which is sort of like a golden latte. It's got turmeric, ginger, reishi mushroom, lemon balm, turkey tail mushroom, all these rad superfoods and herbs. It's of course totally organic. And what's dope about this particular product is you can make a hot elixir with a, with a healthy fat, like a coconut oil, grass-fed butter, or ghee. Or you can make a cold smoothie with some kind of nut milk or something. So here's my routine. I do the Organifi green powder in the morning or maybe midday if I need a little boost. Then at night when I want to chill out, I do the golden latte using the Organifi gold. It's a really good warm elixir. It really chills you out and it's gently detoxifying. So that's my favorite new thing. If you want to check it out and all of their products, I highly recommend them, of course. You can go to Organifi.com with an I. And if you use the code LIFESTYLIST, you will save 20% on your order, which is a really fat discount. I'm pretty into these guys. I think that's very cool that they offer such a substantial discount. So go to Organifi.com, use the code LIFESTYLIST and save 20%. And make sure you check out the new Organifi Gold. It is amazing. Papacitas and mamacitas, que paso? It's your old amigo Luke Story bringing you the second episode of this year, 2019, on the Lifestylist Podcast. 
Today's guest is Lauren Berlingeri, a former fitness model and host turned integrative nutrition expert and sauna entrepreneur. She is currently the co-founder and co-CEO of Higher Dose, a spa that is focused around next-level health and wellness therapies that aim to get you high naturally. Higher Dose currently has three spas in New York City, of which I am a huge fan. Now, if you've been listening to the podcast for a while, I'm always talking about my infrared sauna. I've got my clear light right behind me. In fact, let me see if I can I can knock on it for you. That is that wooden sauna right behind me. My my dog just freaked out. She's like, um, she didn't bark though. That's great. She's she's learning. No need to bark, Cookie, if I'm doing the knocking. So yeah, I'm a huge fan of saunas. Now, I've been doing saunas since I was a little kid. Um, one of the things I love about my old man, Alan Story, shout out to, to Al, uh, is that when I was a kid, he started taking me to spas and we would do saunas and get massages and go to hot springs and hot tubs and swimming and all of that kind of stuff. So this, that spa life, my dad was all about it and I'm all about it too. And there are just so many health benefits to saunas. And that's why I wanted to sit down with Lauren when I went to New York City and actually find out like how she got into it, what they do, and how she turned that into this thriving business, which is very cool. So here's what we talk about in this episode. Woman versus Workout, the extremely cool show where Lauren trained to be a Navy SEAL, firefighter, NASCAR driver, and do a backflip on skis. Yeah, she's uh, quite a woman. Lauren's life-changing transition from disgruntled model to integrative nutrition expert and sauna entrepreneur. How Lauren found herself hosting the UFC and giving her dad the best gift ever, a ringside seat with Dana White. The wild and weird series of events that brought Lauren into the world of infrared saunas. How infrared saunas can improve your mood, athletic performance, and sleep. Why Lauren decided to use clear light saunas at higher dose after exhaustive testing. Why you need to be weary of the EMFs put out by cheap infrared saunas and so much other technology. And then finally, the false claims made by some infrared sauna companies. So as you can see, this is kind of an investigative report here uh, where I sit down and geek out with another huge sauna fanatic. So been really looking forward to dropping this one on you because I get so many questions from people like, what's the best sauna brand? What about all the different types? Um, listen, I'm, I'm down with any hot space, okay? So I love saunas, but um, I really wanted to give you, the listeners, the inside scoop on the industry, what works, what doesn't, and really like the benefits of it for your body. Because I'm going to tell you what, I, I mean, living in, in Los Angeles for the past 30 years, really toxic environment on so many levels. Uh, I don't know that I would have survived or have felt as good as I generally feel without my saunas. Before I had the one that I have behind me, the super fancy clear light, I had some cheap Korean one and you know it was probably really high EMF, but it worked, you know, it did the job. So I'm just a huge fan. And when I find something that works, I want to share it with you. So that's what this one is all about. Now, before we jump into that, I want to let you know that next Tuesday, episode 185 is going to blow your socks off. We're going to be talking about removing the blocks to life and love with the paradox process featuring Thomas M. Jones, another one that I recorded on my recent New York City tour. And that one, my friends, is one you don't want to miss. So if you don't want to miss that or any episodes to follow, you know, iTunes and these folks at Apple have made it really easy. All you have to do is reach down to your device or your computer right now and click subscribe to the Lifestylist podcast. And each and every Tuesday, magically from the intro web, you will get delivered a new episode. So subscribe to the show so you don't miss next week's. Now, here's another bonus for you. I'm going to throw down. As a special gift to Lifestylist Podcast listeners, our guest Lauren is offering a discount on her infrared sauna blankets. I have one of these across the hall from me in my closet, and I'm so stoked because when I travel, one of the things that I miss is my sauna. Obviously, I can't break this thing down, throw it in my car, and take it on a trip. And oftentimes, wherever I'm going, I actually stay somewhere where there's not a sauna. And if there is, it might be kind of a crappy sauna that I don't like. So the sauna blanket is legit. She's going to talk about it in the episode so you'll learn more. But if you're interested in checking that out, uh, you can go to higherdose.com forward slash Luke and use the code Luke to save 15% off your sauna blanket. They are badass. All right. So I think that's it, you guys. I just want to welcome you to 2019. If you're enjoying the show, Please do you, your loved ones, and me a favor and share this episode with them. And here we go. Without further delay or ado, let's rock and roll with Lauren Berlingeri. Jerry. 
Welcome to the show, Lauren. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be here. So I'm going to uh, regretfully admit to the audience the <laughs> truth here, that this is in fact our <laughs> second conversation. <laughs> so out of 180 episodes, you guys, uh, recording, you know, all over New York City, all over Los Angeles, probably some, oh, Austin I've been to, a few other places I've recorded. I have all my mobile gear. I set it all up. I have never once not captured the audio on a recording. And uh, Lauren was here the other day. We had a fantastic conversation for about an hour and a half. Very fun, very spontaneous. The following morning, I went to grab my card out of my recorder and <laughs> upload the files into Dropbox. And I was like, oh, that's weird. Where they're usually right in that little folder. Where are they? And searched and searched and ex- you know, like um, ejected the card, put it back in, restarted my computer. And I'm like, eh, it's not there. So I think literally what happened was I just did not turn around and click record. So this is our take two. Yeah. Uh, which is embarrassing. I'm glad that you were um, cool about it. No, and... this is fun. Are you kidding me? So, it's such good. a pleasure to be speaking to you today. So cool. I'm so happy to be here. Good. Awesome. So what are you most excited about in your life right now? <sighs> well, last time I talked about my marriage, which I'm not going to talk about that right now. I don't okay. think. You can talk... Well, remember also, you're free to not talk about that, but... No one knows what we talked about last time because it, 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 it doesn't exist in space and time at this point. So um, we're going to be repeating ourselves a lot, by the way. So just completely like ignore the fact that we had a prior conversation. But that said, talk about whatever you feel like. I just like to get people started sometimes. Like what's hot in your life right now? What's okay. super amazing and exciting? So um, last week, I was really excited about getting married, which is awesome. Um, this week, I'm a little bit more excited about moving upstate Really? So my husband and I just oh. bought a house upstate, yep, Putnam Valley, which is over by Cold Springs, which is so exciting because I'm so happy to just be able to get out of the city a little bit more, actually a lot more. Yeah. And just have my own space and have a home. You know, living in New York for 10 years and never being able to buy property is like really frustrating. So to actually have something that's yours that we can build on, that we can really create a home and I'm really looking to up my um, self-care routine, which I feel like is really hard sometimes here in New York. I feel like I can meditate everywhere but here. And this is the place where I actually need to be doing it the most. But I don't know if it has to do with my small little apartment or just like that I don't have a separate room where like that's my peaceful room where I just like kind of relax and meditate in. But I, I really feel like I, I was amazing at my self-care um, routine in the morning and just throughout my life a lot more three years ago before I started my company. And then just recently, I kind of lost it. I've been more focused on like, you know, getting work done. And, you know, when I'm not working, like, can I get that work at in that I really find it hard to, you know, have that time to meditate. So I'm really just looking forward to having my own space where I can take baths, where I can meditate, where I can listen to more podcasts and just escape the feeling that I feel guilty that, you know, I'm not out and doing something in New York City, which is what we all oh, suffer man. from. Good for you. I'm really happy for you. Seriously. Uh, I, I love it here. It's obviously like a fantastic, creative, exciting place, but it's pretty hard on your nervous system. I'm sure you've been nonstop. <laughs> yeah. It's like one I mean, thing I'm, after another I'm after fine another. fine because I know it's a, it's a finite amount of time that I'm here. So I just roll with the rhythm and the energy and the productivity of it. And it's great. But I'm talking about just like the the idea of living here in New York City to me lot. is pretty hardcore. I mean, just the EMFs and just the noise pollution. Yeah, and, and you have all your tools too, right? Your yeah, PMF oh yeah. machines. Yeah, and I have my EMF amp, blockers. I have my amp and, coil and my Biomed and my um, Fisher Wallace brain stimulator and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, so I have my I have my jams. But even in LA, for me, after it's been thirty years now, I've been living there. I'm. I want to go to the upstate version of LA. Is that version. Joshua Tree? Nah, that's a oh, little no. too far out. Uh, okay. Where, where's the upstate version? I'm looking version? at Topanga Canyon right now. Okay, yeah. Just like I love bar- Topanga Canyon. Barely out of LA, but yeah. Topanga or Malibu. Um, but it's still a commute. Like if you're thinking about living is. there, you're going to have to be driving. It is, yeah. yeah. It's it's no joke, but city life is, um, I don't know, it has an expiration date, I think, for some of us. It's just, it's a lot. <laughs> just the energy of it. Non stop. Yeah. yeah. After many trips here, I finally figured out that it's much easier to kind of stay in your zone in New York City if you wear headphones. <laughs> like I, oh, I never realized like so many people walk around with noise canceling headphones or earbuds in, and I just, I just never noticed that. I was like, oh, I guess they like music here. We need your biohacking tips for New York City. Oh my god! Okay, like how do you survive the city? 
Well, first one is wear good noise canceling headphones around yeah. and listen to really uplifting Done. music. I've been listening to Bob Dylan's like 70s time capsule all week walking around New That's York City. That's awesome. That's been epic. The other one, well, there's a lot of them, but... Go honest, to higher dose. On, no, I'm not even like yeah. saying that because you own a sauna company, <laughs> yeah. but going and finding an infrared sauna is crucial. And this time when I did that, because you were going to be on the show, you're like, hey, feel free to come, you know, test out our location. What is 11 Howard? At, yeah. That, at that one hotel. of our locations is in a luxury hotel. So beautiful hotel, beautiful room, like very luxurious experience. And doing that so soon after I landed, I think it was like the day after I landed. I mean, I totally changed my whole world. Yeah, just cleans your slate, mm. puts oh you my back God, to like yeah. feeling great. Yeah, Normal. so I'll always find some sort of spa where there's saunas, cold plunge, hot tubs, I mean, hot like and that. cold therapy has been yeah. used for centuries for well-being and health, but ultimately to get high naturally in the moment, it like there's nothing that feels better than hot and cold therapy for me. It's the best. I, well, it's funny. I was telling Valerie here who's assisting with all these podcasts. <laughs> uh, she's, this will be, were you here for the first one, Valerie? Yeah. yeah so, hey, she's, you're, you're free. <laughs> you can listen to music right now on your headphones and totally ignore it. Um, but I was telling her, they gave me a note last night. They slipped under the door. It said, hey, tomorrow we're going to be doing maintenance on the, you know, the uh, climate system, whatever. Your AC and heat won't work. I was like, ah, oh, whatever. It's fine. I'm going to walk outside <laughs> if I get too hot. But I woke up this morning. It's freezing because I sleep with the AC on like 65. I yeah. mean, it's like a freaking igloo in here. I just love sleeping when it's super cold. Just hard to achieve in LA a lot of the time. And then, but I got up and I was quite chilly and thought, ooh, I'm going to cheat and have a hot shower this morning because I usually <laughs> don't even turn on the hot water, just take cold showers. And in New York right now, in late October, the cold showers are quite cold. And I turned on the hot water and there was no hot water oh, because no. the boilers are down or whatever, you know? Wow. I was like, oh, now I see now why it's people. Just torture. Now I see yeah. why people always fight me on the cold shower thing. I get it. Because if you wake up cold anyway. Um, yeah. I mean, doing a sauna or doing something hot before getting into something freezing cold is the tip to yeah. do. Because if you're cold and then you go into cold, it's just miserable. It is. Yeah. Yeah. So you that, have to get nice and toasty. That would probably be a couple of my main hacks. And then I want to interview you instead of myself. Um, the other <laughs> one that, because people always want to know the cheap ones or the free ones too. Oh, I don't have an amp coil or this or that. Dude, do breath work. I mean... Kundalini for me yeah. is like, you know, I just actually recently started getting into Kundalini probably three years ago, but recently more than ever doing Rama TV. Oh yeah. Guru Jagat. Dope. Wow. She's a powerful woman. She's great. And uh, yeah, like meditation's a lot for me, but I need to do like heaps of breath work before I even do my meditation, even to be able to get into that state of relaxation. So I just find Kundalini for me is a perfect mixture of both meditation, mindfulness, but also with breath work too. Yeah. And movement, movement's another big one for me. Yeah. So yeah, Kundalini is my biohacking tip for New York City. I agree. I went to Rama uh, and took a class uh, the day after I landed. Yeah, oh. I think it was the same day I came to Higher Dose. Yeah, yeah. that was an amazing day. I yeah. gave myself one day to kind of acclimate, you know. Uh, but anyway, let's get into your deal. So uh, as I started to research you and compile my notes and things I want to talk to you about, I know this was a while ago, but as you just indicated that you like to move your body, I'm fascinated by your fitness and modeling background, specifically yeah. your woman versus workout um, YouTube show. It was the show. coolest show ever. I mean, it's pretty like you trained to by you trained to be a Navy SEAL, a firefighter. I mean, you did a lot of hardcore shit on there. It was yeah. very interesting to it watch. It would have been great that. for TV. I think it was a little bit of a, ahead of its time. So this was probably seven years ago. I filmed a YouTube series with Rodell, which is women's health and men's health. And it was woman called Woman versus Workout, where I pretty much was challenged with all sorts of fitness challenges and very like masculine careers and things like Navy SEALs and like extreme sports. And pretty much I had a day with a trainer and I had to learn as much as I possibly could. And then I had a challenge at the end of the show, which was really cool. And uh, yeah, some of the craziest ones that I did was, uh, you know, training 24-hour hell night with Navy SEALs, which is insane. I am a changed woman forever because of that show. Uh, and that, you know, training that I put my body through. Um, and then, like you said, NASCAR, motocross, firefighter training, and then also things like CrossFit. Um, I did a backflip on skis, which is pretty insane. Are you serious? Yeah. And I'm like totally afraid of heights too. Whoa. So you kind of like see me go through all of these like feelings that come up, but yeah, I'll never turn out a challenge, but I'm scared shitless. 
And you're just like watching me on this journey. And then, you know, like a lot of times I completed the challenge and a lot of times I didn't. And it was all good, but it was just this really like cool show of like seeing a chick like take on whatever kind of challenge she, you know, was given and love it. And I did. I I was really passionate about it. And I think that really came through on the show. And then you also uh, seem to have been a somewhat reluctant yet successful model for a period prior to getting into what we're going to talk about, which is being, you know, an entrepreneur kind of in the sauna space as you are now with Higher Dose. What was the first transition out of that career into the health and wellness space? Well, I mean, I modeled for 15 years, which is a long time. So I went through the whole like, you know, fashion world and living in places like Milan and all through Europe and trying to fit in as a fashion model, which is definitely not my speed. Um, I also, I'm 5'8", which is not super tall. And, you know, I just am not naturally a very thin person. I'm actually quite athletic, as I'm sure you you know. Um, so it was always really challenging for me. I always hated it. I never felt like I belonged. I was always super clueless about nutrition and fitness. And the last podcast I was telling you about my Diet Coke and cigarette addiction um, as a model, which is super embarrassing. But that's, did, that's pretty much standard issue uh, sustenance for most fashion models, by the way, yeah. is Diet Coke and cigarettes. And especially like 10 years ago. It yeah, was like, yeah. there was no, not like that's the time when, you know, fitness was all about like, you know, diet pills and, you know, chicken breast and broccoli and cottage cheese. You right. Know? The low, f- think people used to think that if you ate low fat, you would be less fat. Which <laughs> yeah. is, now, of course, we're going, oh, it's the opposite way. <laughs> yeah, totally. But it wasn't until I moved to New York that I um, started getting into fitness modeling, which is actually how I probably lasted 15 years. Years in total, um, because you know I'm really passionate about movement. I'm really passionate about being physical, and I was appreciated for my physical stature. And you know, like I eat, sleep, and breathe that lifestyle. So I actually became quite a successful fitness model, which also led me to Woman versus Workout because I actually just went for a casting, and they filmed me. And I was like talking about my lifestyle. And I'm like, oh yeah, I live in South Africa and all around the world. And I swim with sharks and I do the world's highest bungee jump. And, you know, like they, they thought I was insane. So they were like, okay, this girl's going to be perfect for woman versus workout. So, I mean, I have a lot to thank, you know, when it comes to the modeling industry and what it provided for me, traveling around the world, meeting amazing people, being exposed to so many beautiful cultures at such a young age. And ultimately leading me to Woman versus Workout, which led me to a hosting career. So not only did I host right. Woman versus Workout, but Dana White saw my videos, my Woman versus Workout videos online and saw me do UFC and was like, this chick's gonna, you know, host for UFC. So then I I was hosted for UFC and EA Sports, IMG, and uh, all sorts of other extreme sports. I was actually hosting for a year for the BMX Supercross, which was pretty cool. Oh, really? Did oh, that I didn't know year. that. God, I yeah. usually dig pretty well on my guests and find out everything they've done, but I didn't know that. Yeah. I'll send you some videos later. But that was kind of more of live hosting, which was a lot harder for me than, you know, television hosting. Oh, I was, right, right. I, I did the uh, BMX world tour. Oh, so you're almost like an hosting then live is almost like an MC kind of in a sense. I know, it's always weird. I'm always like, I'm trying to explain it to people. I'm like, I'm like a TV host, but not like on TV. (laughs) Right, right, right. (laughs) And people are always like, what are you talking about? Right. So then I go on to explain, you know, what kind of hosting I did. So it wasn't traditional TV hosting. It was my own YouTube show, which led me to host for extreme sports. And then I um, did all sorts of tours with them. So I also got to interview amazing UFC fighters. And I grew up watching boxing and my dad's a big UFC fan from Canada. So for him, that was like everything. He thought that was the coolest thing. Mission accomplished. Yeah. And I was all stamp of approval from It really was. Yeah. And one time Dana White invited us ringside. Oh, no way. Yeah. Your dad too? Yeah. Oh, he must have been freaking. We were like ringside, like answering the phones, like pretty much sitting next to Dana White. And he just thought that was the coolest thing ever. Oh, I thought yeah. it was the coolest thing ever. I got to see John Jones fight Alexandra Gustafson. So cool. Where does your uh, journey collide with infrared saunas? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So um, I'm a nutritionist and health coach as well. So... After I was doing woman versus workout, I got really passionate not only about fitness, but uh, nutrition and wellness. 
So I studied at IIN. Valerie's also studying at IIN. And then I became a certified holistic nutritionist. And in that process, I was also interested in startups. So I started to work for a health and wellness startup. I did the brand ambassador program and product development. So I actually got to sit with all these influential doctors, nutritionists, naturopaths, fitness experts, and go over our product line. And in the midst of all that, I got very close to them. And I was dealing with my own health problems because I was such an extreme athlete where I worked out twice a day like a psychopath. I, Even though I was eating healthy because I learned how to eat well from IIN, um, I wasn't letting my nervous system calm, calm down. I actually had a hard time even sleeping through the night. Like I would be one of those people that would wake up in the middle of the night and eat oatmeal to put myself back to sleep, which is awful. So I, you know, was talking to someone and I had a cystic acne on my jawline. And it was really embarrassing for me because I'm supposed to be this like holistic nutritionist and health coach. And yet I can't even figure out my own health problems, which is a real struggle. You know, it's it's a really tough thing. I always have so much empathy for people that are in this world trying to learn as much as they can or create a job out of it. And they're struggling with their own health problems where everyone can see it, you know, especially when you have skin problems. It's like they're it's showcased on your face. Right. And especially if you're doing media work as well. And Oh, yeah. You know. I mean, I struggled with my skin for years while I was still modeling. I mean, modeling, I was like, whatever, it's fine. I can just put makeup on it. But sitting there trying to like tell people what they should be eating and doing with their life. And you have like like acne on your face that have heartbeats. Like that's how bad they were. Oh God, that sounds horrible. No, they did. They like had their own heartbeats. Oh they God. Were awful. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. That's what cystic acne cystic is? Cystic acne, you can feel it's like alive. Oh God. Yeah. So um, yeah, I was talking to um, one of the doctors there and he told me about an infrared sauna and he's like, You work out a lot and that's amazing, but infrared saunas are going to be able to give you that same feeling that you get from a workout, but it's going to calm your nervous system and it's going to help you with your skin. And at that time, I was trying everything. So I was like, for sure. And I looked up infrared saunas and the only place I could find was this um, colonic center in New York City. And I never did. I had, I have never tried a colonic at that time. So you can imagine it was quite a weird experience for me. Yeah. Yeah. First time of that is never a party. Yeah. It's not exactly never, where you... <laughs> no one's ever come back and be like, yeah, I did a clinic today. First one, amazing experience. Like, why wasn't I doing this sooner? It's it's awkward on many levels yeah. and, and can be physically uncomfortable too. Yeah. It's also something you don't really talk about that often too, because it's kind of embarrassing. Yeah, um, totally. But I tried the... Infrared... You just talked about it in front of about 25,000 <laughs> people know. this week. But yeah. I know. But I tried the infrared sauna and I was like, whoa. Like I've never felt this good before. And I'm someone that's very in tune with my body in the sense of liking to work out because I feel good. I like to eat well because I feel good. You know, I like to work in as in a startup because that makes me happy. So I'm very aware of like what makes me feel good. And I felt the best I've ever felt in my life. I slept like a baby that night and my skin was glowing. I mean, it didn't cure my acne immediately, but I can see that it was going to if I stuck with it. So that night I went to go write an article about it. Because I was also writing um, blog posts for the startup I was working for, Aloha. And I started researching it. And I was just like, what the heck? Like, how can it have this many benefits? And I'm telling you, it has so many benefits that we probably won't get to nearly as many in this podcast alone. Because it just has so many amazing things for you. And then the technology has been around for so long. And it's so safe that they put prematurely born babies in incubators. That's how safe the technology is. And even if you're really, really sick, they suggest you do it twice a day, which is not the case with most things. Usually when they're sick, you're sick, they tell you not to do things. And it was just like immediately the you know lights went off and it was bigger than myself that I needed to do something with this. I felt so passionately about it. I've traveled all around the world. I used to live in like, you know, Turkey a year and a half before even moving to New York, all through Europe. I'm Canadian, Norwegian, Italian. Sauning was a part of my culture. And to find a sauna that made me feel the best was just like, what? That, that, this is what I was going to do. Like I'm starting an infrared sauna company. Damn. Yeah. That much of an impact. It did. I mean, I spent hours yeah. in a boardroom like trying to develop a product that was highly detoxing, anti-aging, de-stressing, makes you sleep. And you know, we created a protein powder. Like not, not crazy 
inspiring. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? And yeah. when I stumbled across this, I was like, this is everything that we talk about and it's here and it, it just made so much sense. So the timing of it all lined up and it was super obvious and I just needed to do it the next day. For those listening that haven't experienced an infrared sauna, but have maybe taken a sauna at the gym, like they might think, oh, a sauna is a sauna. Yeah, I've done that. Can you explain the difference between like, uh, you know, an old school Finnish sauna that's fire, sauna. that's, you know, made with fire, the little electric ones and infrared, like the different yeah. options available. And I still love traditional saunas, FYI, by the way. They both have very beneficial needs to do both. But traditional saunas heat the air, whereas infrared heats the body. Infrared is on the invisible light spectrum, so it is a light therapy. Infrared penetrates the tissues and vibrates your water molecules and pulls out heavy metals, radiation, and environmental pollutants out of your fat cells, which doesn't always happen in traditional saunas. Traditional saunas are much more of a cardiovascular workout. They really work your heart and blood flow and circulation, but they don't have the same detoxing properties that infrared has. Um, infrared is extremely detoxing, detoxifying, it detoxes you seven times more than traditional saunas, which is wow. a lot. And yeah, and detoxing you of things that are almost impossible to detox from, like, you know, heavy metals is a real tough one. Um, you know, uh, environmental pollutants is a big one. Uh, radiation, like who even knew you could detox from radiation? And you really feel the benefits because... Infrared is a much more gentle and effective heat versus, you know, traditional sauna heat. You need a much higher temperature with traditional saunas than you do at infrared. So infrared is a much more gentle, effective heat than it is aggressive and hot. And you always will notice the difference right off the bat because with traditional saunas, you need to like cover up your hair and take all your jewelry out. And sometimes it's burning your lungs and your eyes and you're like hunched over and you're like can't even move and you're exhausted. Infrared, you walk in and you're like, this is it? It just feels like a warm hug. And you're like, oh, this is good. And the longer you stay in there, obviously it heats your core body temperature. So you get hotter and hotter, but you never get that hot where, as you do in a traditional sauna. But yet you're pouring sweat out, like tons, more sweat than you'll ever sweat in a traditional sauna. So it's, it's this really weird feeling. It's like, you also get this runner's high too while you're in there. Because you feel so energized and you feel so great, but you are sweating and relaxing and detoxing, you get like excited, energized. So it's it's so much fun to actually go in there with a friend or a colleague or a lover or someone because you just like have so much to say and you're having so much fun. And it's not like, you know, the traditional saunas where you're like hunched over, like counting down the seconds that you it can get is, out. It is a different experience. It's weird to, as you said, to sweat that much in an infrared sauna, yeah. but the air's not hot. No. Like when you go in a legit Russian or Turkish sauna or something and it's 220 degrees, it's like you you can't even breathe deeply because no. it feels like it's burning your lungs. It does and, burn, and I like And I like yeah. that too. Yeah. But um, there, it is a different experience in terms of your nervous system doesn't fight the infrared sauna. Not like at all. When I go in a Russian sauna, this 220, I'm like, I got to really like toughen myself up and get in there. And it takes a, this determination and grit. And, you know, yeah. you have to kind of breathe shallow, as I said. And it's, it's like a fight with the elements versus when you get in an infrared. It's like your body sort of surrenders to the element to just roll. And relax. It. It's, it's interesting. Yeah. Uh, last time I was here, uh, last year, I went to the Russian Turkish baths on um, 10th Street in the East Village. Ooh. Yeah. And um, which I like, I love, I'm cool. I can like, I can Well, roll. I like the cool plunge after. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. but here's the thing is I'm, I'm like, yeah, yeah, where's the hottest sauna? And they're like, I don't know. You might not be able to handle it. I was like, <laughs> don't worry. I've been sauning since I'm 10 or whatever. <laughs> yeah. And I went in their, their hot, hot one and it was... So goddamn hot. I mean, I maybe stayed in there 10 minutes and I'm pretty hardcore. I mean, I'm comfortable with being uncomfortable, but it was like, if you moved, it burned your skin almost, yeah. you know? And then I did the cold plunge, which I like the coldness of it, but it has a lot of chlorine. So that was challenging. Yeah. Anyway, there's another long story that ends in a totally inappropriate way. That was hilarious. I'm able to tell you off um, <laughs> off recording, but I can only imagine. I've been to those Russian yeah, yeah. bathhouses before. Strange, Dodgy stuff happens. Strange things happen at 5 p.m. on Thursdays. Uh, guys, beware! <laughs> um, and yeah, I actually talked about it on a live podcast I did at Cat Beauty last year. But totally, I don't want to digress and get off. We have a finite amount of time here. The moral of the story is that goddamn hot sauna. 
I came back to my hotel later and was like, ah, my ears hurt. What the hell? And I looked in the mirror and it had melted the skin off the top of my ears. That's how hot it was. And I'm like, even I don't like to be that hardcore. I like having skin on my ears. So Yeah. You, that's why they have those like Russian caps that you're supposed yeah. to soak and put on your head because it literally burns you, which is fine. And it's the same in the German, German that's saunas what those too, where they felt like caps are for. Yeah. Oh, so thought, it doesn't burn your hair off. Oh, I thought they're caps because I have one of those in my infrared sauna at home that someone, someone gave me. I forget who it was. Um, I thought that those were so that you could get hotter faster because they like hold the heat. In. <laughs> do you need to get hotter faster? I do. Yeah, oh, yeah. I I love my clear light sauna, but I still I warm it up for like an hour before I get in there. So I'm at one fifty five or one fifty seven yeah. by the time I get in there. And even that, like I've ex- explored the idea of hacking the sauna and putting a cover on it or something so it gets even hotter than that because. I want to go in and just start pouring sweat immediately. I'm just kind of hardcore like that. But again... You can do a little workout before and raise your own core body temperature right? while you're in there and then take a cayenne pepper shot before too, which cayenne is really great for the heart. But it also creates more internal heat. Yeah. I could do a few rounds on the old Bellicon rebounder. Get all hyped up on that. Yeah, totally. Actually, you know what? I did that. Last year, I did this... Uh, niacin sauna thing. Okay, I thing. knew you were going to say this because I... And part of that is you exercise like hell after you've taken the niacin. There's a whole protocol and then you get in the sauna and you sweat like a freaking beast. Which niacin um, causes skin flushing and a lot of heat within the body. So I'm sure that would make you even hotter. I've never done this detox, but I want to. Dude, it's amazing. There's, there's like a whole group online, Yeah, there's right? a Facebook yeah. group you can join. I know. I was like, should I yeah. sell this? Or this is this going to like be too detoxifying? Brett Bauer, I think is his name. The guy that leads the Facebook group, Brett with one T. And uh, you can join there and just kind of like, you know, extrapolate the protocol out of there. It's actually taken from L. Ron Hubbard of Scientology. He wrote a book called Clear Body, Clear Mind. Yeah, and, it was a protocol that they used yeah, they, during Scientology is you had to do so infrared you know. sauna for like three hours a day or something yeah. like that. It is so gentle and safe that you could do it for that long, but you don't want to do it for that long. Well, the, the one that they did uh, in the original protocol, it's been co-opted now. And for an infrared sauna, you only have to do like an hour. But when they did it, um, they did it in Scientology to get people off street drugs and stuff. That's how he first developed it. And feeling amazing because then they'll be yeah. like, oh, wow, Scientology really makes me feel great. Meanwhile, it's the sauna and <laughs> right. lifestyle. But the, it's actually kind of genius in a way. But they would use they would use traditional saunas and you had to stay in there for way longer because in order to sweat that much in the old school saunas, it takes a lot longer. And so... But for the detoxing of the drugs too, I mean... Yeah. But now with the infrared, you can do that L. Ron Hubbard protocol and only go in there for an hour a day. But yeah, it's like, it's a 30 day thing. Um, You take a higher dose of niacin every single day. There's kind of a way that you follow it. But you have to take all of these other supplements because you get so depleted in fat soluble yeah, like vitamins fats and stuff. And minerals and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. So it's not something like those listening don't just be like, cool, take a bunch of niacin no. and go in the sauna. It's a whole thing. You got to. Well, if, you gotta you, if you're going to do it, they also suggest doing it for a month too, every yeah. day. And then you build up to more and more niacin, which I'm super excited to try it because I'm like reading all of these like amazing doctors talking about it online and saying this is one of the most powerful detoxifying yeah. detoxes that you could do, which is. Pretty freaking well, awesome. Well, I did my heavy metal blood work and urine work and all I of just the... did that today with Great Plains. Oh, really? Yeah, laboratory, yeah. Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. So I did all the biomarkers before and then I did them after and they all went down considerably. Okay, that's great. Uh, especially mercury. My mercury went down a lot. Wow. So there you go. Yeah, because I get really pissed off when you know I get interviewed and just recently this stupid documentary on Netflix just came out where this guy like you know, came to the conclusion himself that infrared saunas don't detoxify. And it was just like, um, hold on a second. Like we have tons of studies specifically on the sweat of an infrared sauna versus traditional sweat and all the toxins that are coming off of it, coming off of you. And yet this guy just goes on to a Netflix documentary and says infrared saunas don't actually scientifically detox you. Oh, weird. It's crazy what they actually let people come out with without like fact checking it, you know, just for like... I wonder what would be one's motive. Um, They would have to be selling a different type of sauna or something, you know? I think it... No, I don't think it was necessarily that. He was pretty much saying that everything he tried is actually... Ah, okay, got it. ...doesn't work. So he just had this like really negative look on like the whole entire health and wellness world, Uh, which 
you know, that was his thing. So I think it was called Ways to Cheat Death or something, which is such a stupid title if you think about it. It's like, I'm not just cheating death. I want to feel good in this lifetime. So it's right. not about, you know, trying not to die. Yeah. Like, what are you talking about? I'm perfectly fine dying with whenever I'm supposed to die. I just <laughs> yeah. don't want to feel like shit while I'm here. <laughs> exactly. That's... I just want to live my best life while I'm here. So one thing that I was grateful to find when I uh, came to your spot and took your sauna, which was amazing. Uh, now I've done two of your locations. I want to talk about the other one too, because that place was super lit. But I walked in and I was like, thank God it was a clear light sauna. Yes. Now, having done uh, a lot of research on saunas and been a fan of... Infrared saunas for a long time. I had one that my dad gave me, kind of a cheap Korean one that I was very grateful for. It's probably very high EMF. And you have it, to choose. It was kind a of a, a no name sauna. I had that for 15 years, but I knew about Clear Light. I just hadn't, you know, um, upped my game yet. But based on all of the research I've done, that is by far the best brand of sauna. So when you started your company, what led you to decide to work with them and build out your custom saunas and all the stuff that you're doing now rather yeah. than the other five companies out there or whatever? Yeah. So this was about four years ago. And uh, like you said, you researched the best sauna company. And you know, my business partner and I did the same thing. We researched the best sauna companies. And uh, then we tried the different sauna brands, which I think is a lot more telling than just researching because sometimes companies can be better marketers and they could actually be at product development. And we tried the Clearlight Sauna versus all the other competitor sauna brands. And we tried a lot of saunas. And Clearlight Saunas were significantly better. Their technology is patented. It was a full spectrum sauna near mid and far wavelengths. They also... Um, had an upgraded medical grade chromial light therapy in there, which is super profound and amazing. So it was this like whole whack of light therapy in one unit. And yeah, I sweat more than I do with any other saunas. I feel the best from Clear Light. But it wasn't really until we, you know, cold reached out to Clear Light and the warm, like welcoming response from Raleigh and Andy was just overwhelming. These guys did anything they possibly could to support us, answer all of our questions. We initially, when we first started our company, we started off installing infrared panels into yoga studios because that was like my, my big idea. I was like, why isn't every hot yoga place using infrared? Like, duh, that would be an, an obvious thing can that I could imagine, solve. Can you imagine the EMFs in most of the hot yoga and places? And convectional heat and yeah. how drying and gross that is. Like, yeah. I usually leave hot yoga and I'm like shaking because it's just too much for me because my nervous system is so sensitive. Yeah. That I can't overtax it with, you know, really, really like bad, unhealthy heat or too much high intensity workout. I have to calm down. But we started off installing these infrared panels and they like patented the technology that we developed and it was infrared plus clay. And it was like these guys did so much with us to launch our business. And, uh, you know, we did quite well with that, but also realized very quickly that that wasn't a very good business model because, you know, it's really difficult to sell clunky, infrared panel like systems to yoga studios. Um, and you know, my business partner is a very smart business woman and she like had a lot of opinion on, you know, the business model too. And uh, you know, we were tipped off from Clearlight, the idea around, you know, opening up our own sauna spas. And uh, you know, so we opened our first sauna spa about a year after we first started higher dose and it immediately took off. Like immediately. You know, we really focused on experience and we, we were located in these really cool like wellness centers and, you know, we had essential oils and the bright light and the cool music and, you know, the sauna and it was like nobody had really ever experienced anything like an infrared sauna before, let alone in such a cool location. And it just like spread like wildfire. Like everyone was talking about it. We had crazy amounts of press that came in and, you know, like my company like literally just took off from there. But bringing it back to Clearlight, we partnered with Raleigh and um, Andy and not only on these infrared panels, but also to create our own custom sauna because we learned a lot from our first locations and, you know, just the commercial grade of, you know, the saunas that they have are not always the best for businesses because like we literally run our saunas from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. at night. And we wanted to upgrade the lighting in there because everyone's taking selfies and, you know, we um, put an upgraded sound system and we made it like black on the outside and it was like really cool and really beautiful. And we also put a swivel iPad in there. So now we're like working on developing content from within the sauna and it also turns into like a photo booth. 
We'll be right back at you after this brief but important announcement. If you're someone that pays attention to the health industry at all, even remotely, you know that CBD is all the rage now. And I love that. I love the hemp plant. I love the cannabis plant. I think it's a great medicine that can be used for a number of different uh, things that ail us humans. However, the CBD market is crazy saturated and it's really difficult to find a brand you trust. I've been shopping around for quite a while myself. People send me stuff all the time and some of it, some of it's been good and um, some of it not so much. Uh, I finally settled on a brand I really like and they're called Cured Nutrition. Uh, I like them for a couple of reasons. They're legit organic, no funny business, no pesticides, no funky fertilizers or shady stuff going on in their growing process. It's all grown in Colorado. It's all legit organic. Okay, so we've got that. But they don't only make oil. See, a lot of the CBD companies are great, but they just make these little vials of oil. And if you're not someone that wants to like put some weed sort of tasting oil in your mouth, you might not be into that. Now, I personally like that taste, but I also like to eat their CBD infused foods and spices and things like that. So these guys are veterans and pioneers in the fitness industry, and they're absolutely out to educate health and fitness minded people about the benefits of hemp and to make CBD accessible to all. And why it's so accessible is because it's so easy to eat this stuff. Um, if you get their cookie dough or you get any of their different spices, uh, it makes it really easy to just kind of make this part of your daily routine. And if you want to break out the big guns, they do have the concentrated oils and gel caps if you want to do that uh, on a very stressful day or to encourage deeper sleep or whatever the case may be. So I want you guys to check out Cured Nutrition. Awesome company, very well branded, just super legit, top to bottom. Very stoked to be working with them. Their website is as follows curednutrition.com forward slash the lifestylist that's curednutrition.com forward slash the lifestylist and of course if you use the code lifestylist at checkout you will save 10 percent off and now back to the interview I want to back you up just a little bit there, um, just you know, from the entrepreneurial standpoint. A great idea, B great place to do it in New York City. New Yorkers and, need it more than <laughs> anyone. I mean, on so many levels. Plus, it's just freezing here a lot of the time too. Like, it's not a tough ask. Like, hey, want to come in a nice into you know, my nice warm sauna and combat seasonal affective <laughs> yeah, disorder? Totally. Like, mm, yes. Um, but I also like just because. I've watched the health and wellness industry evolve over the past 22 years. And when I started, it was like, if you came to New York City and wanted to do something like a colonic or an infrared sauna, it would likely be in some like, quote, end quotes, healer's apartment or something or a little like ramshackle. Ooh. Yeah, it would be like, there'd be like... Uh, uh, psychic readings from the gypsy on one side, you know, it was just not like, mm, not fashionable. Didn't make and, you feel comfortable. Yeah, not highbrow and clean and uh, beautiful aesthetic and stuff. So I think it was really smart that you broke out and were maybe the first ones here to really do it in that way. And it's such um, great timing too. As, timing as was this industry amazing. now watching the health and wellness space, it's like the cool thing now, which... Is, oh, yeah. Like everyone's opening <laughs> yeah. infrared sauna spas and we're like, yeah, we did that four years ago or whatever. But, but. I, you know, having having experienced the one at... Uh, now, actually, two spots, um, the one at Eleven Howard and then the one at Alchemist Kitchen downstairs there, uh, it is a really cool experience to go in. And as you said, you have the essential oils and the lighting. We have the red cool. lights. We have Himalayan lamps. We're playing cool Burning Man music. We have yeah. this like wild wallpaper on the wall. Um, you know, like when you walk in, it's like definitely an experience. And I think that is a big part of what drives people nowadays to do anything is creating an experience around it and right. making it Instagrammable. Yeah. Which and is, that's smart too, with your new ones of having the selfie thing built in. That's, that's, that's you see how that cool. works. Yeah, it's good. I know it's like user generated content. Now going back to you know, finally selecting the brand, uh, what did you know or know about the potential of really high EMFs in other saunas? Is that something you were aware of? Oh, you... yeah. Yeah, totally. So electromagnetic field is something that you really have to look out for when purchasing anything infrared, which is why you just choose a great brand that's trusted, that has the best technology. But infrared saunas plug into the wall and so do our infrared sauna blankets, which I'm sure we'll talk about a little bit later. Electromagnetic field is something that comes from anything that's electronic, pretty much. And uh, infrared saunas have been known in the past or really, you know, crappy technologies to have a whack load of EMF, 
which is not going to kill you. But over time, if you like use it all the time, it's going to take from you and not give to you. Or if you have a weakened immune system or if you're sick and not feeling well, if you have cancer or something like that, like to be exposed to such high EMF is not what you want. Right. Right. N- like naturally we're exposed to a whack load of EMF already as we like just live our lives with our computer and our cell phones and being in the subway. Airplanes are really bad with EMF and you can't really avoid that. But if you're thinking about doing something healthy for yourself, like an infrared sauna, you're going to want to choose something that's like, n- there's nothing that you need to worry about, right? And uh, yeah, choosing uh, the best brand that has the lowest EMF is definitely something you need to look out for. So clear light saunas virtually have none inside of the the cabins. And on the outside, it has like, I think up to three milligos, which is like the max, but you don't get infrared benefits from the outside. You get it from the inside. So it's virtually nothing. And um, we also created our infrared sauna blankets, which is our take-home experience, which has less than one milligos of EMF, which is virtually no EMF as well. And that also is, you know, unheard of within the space because even biomats have like tons of EMF. Yeah, I know. I have my biomat there uh, acting as a tripod stand for <laughs> all of our recording devices. And it's it's funny because I, I've been aware of the EMF thing for a long time. And my, my, uh, my last little Korean sauna that I had, which I think they sell at Costco, I never tested the EMFs on it because I didn't want to know because I would psych myself out and be like, oh, I'm killing myself with EMFs. And every time I got in, so I just rolled with it for a while. But uh, you do have to be discerning. And even with the biomat, which is, you know, it doesn't make you sweat like a sauna. It's just, I don't know, I use it just to relax and meditate. And if my body hurts anywhere, I put it on that part of my body and it's amazing. But I use my biomat every single day. And I've had a lot of biohacker guys come at me and be like, dude, that thing's really high EMF. So I ended up giving mine to my mom because she was using a really high EMF electric blanket in Northern California. I'm just like, I can't. Try not to be codependent, but I'm like, mom, you can't use an electric blanket. That's literally the, and she has Lyme. So she's really oh, compromised. So good. I'm like, yeah. yeah, you got to stop using the electric blanket. So I gave her my biomat. And then I ordered a new one uh, to replace it because I figured I decided I couldn't live without it. And on the little controller here, it has this little EMF blocker button. And Thank I was God. like, yeah, I was like, oh, sick. So it has less. But then as I started posting, then the real ardent biohacker dudes came at me again and were like, I measured it. It still has EMF. To me, it's like at a certain point, there's the cost to benefit ratio. Oh, yeah. And, and so I'm like, well, the benefits I'm getting from the biomat probably outweigh the 20 minutes of exposure that I get. But as you said, like with an infrared sauna, I mean, you're going in there for serious healing and you're committing that time. And if you're spending money on one, I think it would be very unwise to yeah. get one that's and got especially high if enough. you have Lyme or cancer, or yeah. lymphatic issues, heavy metal poisoning, and the other boatload of things that we're suffering with nowadays. You want to just choose the best, you know, infrared product out there. And that's one thing you need to worry about and look out for. And that's something that, you know, is a big reason why we partnered with Clearlight to make our, you know, custom saunas and also to do our custom sauna blankets, which is our take-home experience. I can't believe you got such low EMF on that blanket. Yeah, it's insane. Like, our our blankets are amazing. They have amethyst and tourmaline. And they have magnetic therapy in there. Uh, the magnetic therapy helps increase blood flow and circulation. Amethyst and tourmaline provide an even deeper penetration of infrared therapy, which is awesome. Oh, that's why they have that? Like yeah, in the biomat, the there's some kind of stone. You can see a little window in there and there's these stones. Well, I was like, I don't know. Is that just to look cool? I didn't know well, you've had for. a hot stone massage before, right? Yeah, yeah. Right, that's infrared. Oh. Right, so you heat up the stone and then the stone delivers Trippy. infrared wavelengths directly deep within the tissues, which doesn't happen with external heat because it oh. heats the air versus objects. So... That's interesting. And the same could be true to a degree for a sweat lodge. Like they light the fire and they heat up the rocks exactly. and then you put the rocks But unless inside. you're using electricity to heat the rocks and you got the EMF, yeah, whereas yeah, yeah. like a bet much better way to do that would be to heat the rocks, you know, whether it's like coals or whatnot, um, which we don't have a higher dose, but you just want to like make sure that, you know, again, it has low EMF whenever right. you're, you know, going for the hot. How much of the sauna wars did you experience as you started to shop around? You know, <laughs> being someone who very blatantly is an advocate and a, um, a what do you call it, affiliate of Clear Light Saunas because I have one, they're the best, so I talk about them. And if someone buys one and they use my code, I get paid, which is great. So I got someone's got to pay for this goddamn podcast. But um, as I've 
been <laughs> promoting Clearlight and I'm such a dedicated fan. Other companies have come to me and they try to email me and yeah. like talk shit about Clearlight. And then I go to Clearlight. They're like, no, that guy used to work for us and he's disgruntled. And you know, there's like every brand of sauna was very cutthroat kind of against the other ones and attacking them. Yeah. There's this very adversarial relationship. I get with why them. though, because they've been like sitting on this amazing technology that heals people and like nobody really even knew about it which I didn't know about it like, you know, three years ago. That's why we're doing what we're doing is to educate people on the benefits of infrared. And it should be a household name or word that people understand infrared because everyone should be doing it. I I really do believe. So I I can get gain why uh, or understand why they're so frustrated because it's clunky to try to sell like a 600 pound sauna to somebody, you know, it's like, not everyone has the space. Not everyone has the money. Not everyone wants to like take care of something like that. So it was like, such a big thing to like actually be able to execute a sale on that, which is another reason why we started our own sauna spas and developed the sauna blanket because everyone wants the benefits of infrared, but you know, can't always have the space for it. So I understand why they're, you know, so desperate to get the word out there and stuff like that, because I think it was hard to sell them. Like you have to be very like in the know to have a sauna, like right? An infrared sauna. That's a good point. And because they're not cheap, it's a pretty, I imagine like a, you know, a high touch sales experience from the initial inquiry to a company. Why should I buy your sauna? Tell me why you're the best. It is probably difficult to present that information without saying we're the best because the brands X, Y, and Z suck. And yeah. here's why we're better. And it's this much money and like you have to put right. it together yourself and then, you know, 600 pounds and we'll deliver it to your doorstep, but then you got to take it and then you got to take care of it. And like you lose people. Yeah. There also you know? seems to be... um some false claims too, though. And in, in the, there's like this scandal over not only the competition and kind of the, the shit talking within the sauna manufacturing community, but also um, some false claims because I've had friends that have had a certain sauna, for example, that claim to be no EMF or low EMF. And then they test it themselves and it's off the charts. And they're like, uh, I thought you guys, part of your whole marketing thing is that it's no EMF, you know? And they're like, oh no, it is. Well, no, it's not. Here's a video. <laughs> yeah. So it's it's weird. I, in the in the health and biohacking space, there there is the propensity for people to make false claims and the warranties sometimes are a little funky and aren't ironclad. I think that's ironclad. like any business and though, you know? I guess, I guess it is, yeah. It's just one that I've become more acutely aware of because saunas are my favorite thing ever and something yeah. that I'm interested in and, and I And if you explore. tell someone to buy it, it's a huge purchase. Like you got to right. make sure you're guiding them to do the right thing because otherwise, again, you have this like massive unit that you know you feel like is not even healthy for you. Like that's not good. Yeah, the psychological impacts of that too. Because yeah. I couldn't help knowing when I was in my old cheap Korean infrared sauna, <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh my God, I'm getting blasted by EMFs right now. And I couldn't <laughs> get that out of my head, you know, which is why I never tested it. So another thing <laughs> Sometimes that... Sometimes it's better not to know, right? It kind of is. Yeah. It kind of is, yeah. Like I've been getting my Bulletproof coffees at the coffee shop next door. At, well, they're not. They're just like a, an Americano. And it seems like some high quality coffee. I mean, it's, you know, local roast, whatever fancy coffee. And then I come back to my room and I make Bulletproof coffee. That's but awesome. I have to put out of my mind that it's New York City tap water in my coffee. Oh. Otherwise, I'll psychologically make that healthy coffee bad for me. So and yeah, ignorance and it, is bliss sometimes about it's things. It's a little vaccination in a way to get a little dose of some yeah, toxins sometimes. It's, it's and whatever. Yeah. I had one this morning. It was freaking delicious. I just rolled with it. <laughs> can't, you know, you can't be all controlling. Uh, but anyway, back to the, the business of higher dose. There's a couple things. A, kudos on not only the weather in New York City and the fact that people are so stressed out, but I just had the realization based on space even if you have two, three, four, five grand to buy a sauna, if you live in New York no City, space. unless you are freaking loaded, you don't have room to put a sauna in your flat, you know? You to, I mean, I don't have a sauna in my flat and I want one and right. I have access to them, but there, I have no space. I don't even have a space for my clothes. Like people in New York are very aware of what they take on and buy and accumulate because it just weighs you down here because yeah. of the lack of space. So, but I also feel like that's kind of everywhere. Like, you know, just trying to be more of a minimalist and like not have things that take up too much space and, and, you know, just being more aware of, you know, what you are buying, I think is like a really important thing. I just did a uh, complete, I have like a two bedroom apartment, which in, if I was in New York, my apartment would be like a mansion, you know, but in LA, it's just a nice two bedroom apartment, but I have my son in there, but there's a lot of closets. And when I moved in, I just kind of 
I'm pretty tidy, you know, and everything's in its place. But if you open the closets, it's sort of a cluster F. So I recently <laughs> hired someone to come in and we decluttered all my closets. Doesn't it feel so good? Oh, amazing. I got so much more energy, so much more creative. What I realized is, oh my God, I'm like a closet figuratively and literally a closet pack rat. I accumulate <laughs> so much shit. If I had to move to New York, I mean, I'm like, what would I do if my apartment yeah. was this big or something? Just because it's in the closet doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Oh, God. And I went and like had old the DVDs digitized and like all yeah, that it's stuff. Yeah, like you keep on to, you hold on to things because there's an emotional connection to it and you feel bad about throwing away yeah. stuff. But man, when you do, it's so much lighter and feels so good. Well, but yeah, I mean, like I actually do know some people in New York that have a sauna in their closet. Oh, wow. Well, I like the fact that you made a place that people could go and just you pop in one of your locations and just do your thing and move on with your life yeah. and not have to have it in there. So, exactly. So, it's so nice to be taken care of too and have someone like clean your room and clean your towels and have the sauna nice and hot. And then we have right. cold water showers afterwards. And then, you know, that we have dirty lemon drinks and, you know, the whole experience is really nice. And I think what people are looking for in New York is actually healthy things to do and share together versus just going out and eating and drinking, which is like the obvious thing that you always do with people. It's like, oh, I miss you. We should go for a drink. It's like, I don't want to go for a drink. So probably not going to end up hanging out with this person that I actually really want to connect with because I don't want to get off my healthy routine, right? Right. So to actually be able to provide a healthy experience for these New Yorkers, it's been like so well received because now it's like a cool thing to do to go in and bring your friend into the sauna a colleague into the sauna, go on a date with the, your significant other or, you know, like go in by yourself and just enjoy That's that cool. time. Yeah. Because yeah, your saunas are big enough. That's one thing I realized at the 11 Howard location. I was like, our what? saunas are huge. Yeah, I was like, what's different? I go, oh, I have the little, I think it might be classified as a two person sauna, but you'd have to really be friendly with that person. Like I'm not jumping in my sauna with a homie. It's no. real, it's tight. It feels <laughs> uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. We have but, the bigger saunas, yeah. but only let two people go in. And I could stretch out in yours. Like my Play. legs on the bench, I could lay down and relax and just kind of sweat more without having to sit there and like hold my composure. And I was like, oh dude, when I have more space, I definitely need to upgrade into a bigger one. Yeah, um, it's a luxury to have a big sauna. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty dope. Uh then on to, because I want to learn more about the sauna blanket. So Yeah, we're super excited about the sauna blanket. For someone that doesn't have A, the budget, B, the space for a sauna is not in a city like New York where they can run down to the corner and do higher dose. How does this, this space blanket, sauna blanket thing work? Yeah, so it sounds pretty weird, um, but it actually is pretty awesome. So what you do is you actually put on cotton clothing. So you put on long pants, socks, and a long sleeve shirt. And you wrap yourself in our sauna blanket and you lay in there. And that's really your time where you can, you know, catch up on work, jump on the phone, meditate, listen to a podcast. Cause you're laying there in this like warm, beautiful heat. And the first like 15, 20 minutes is so relaxing and so calming and so nourishing. But then as the sauna blanket starts to heat you up, that's when it starts vibrating water molecules, but you also start to profusely start sweating and you get that workout without a workout because it speeds up your heart rate to the pace of a light jog. So you're getting all these benefits that you would in a sauna, but in the comfort of your own home. I don't know if I explained that properly because I was trying to fit in a lot there. Oh, totally. But really, you could do it at home, get caught up on your podcast, eBooks, meditate, do work, sleep, whatever it is, while you're getting all the benefits of infrared. It's like a win-win. I like to do it in the morning. Actually. Yeah, that's cool because you can sort of multitask a bit more than you can in the sauna. There's like certain things you can't do in a sauna, like read a book. It's going to turn all soggy. You know, or bring like, in your phone. Yeah, my mm -hmm. phone. I like at your location the other day. I had my phone in there, and it would start to melt down. I'd have yeah, to yeah. set it outside. I mean, people <laughs> like bring their phone in, take a selfie, and then like put it back. Yeah, we do also have you know a sound system in there where you can listen to music, so you don't need to bring in your phone or anything right. like that. But I like the sauna blanket because you can kind of stack. Yeah, I get more so, so much done and I get all the benefits of infrared in the comfort of my own home. I don't even have to leave my house, which is also really nice. And so is it kind of like a sleeping bag? I'm trying to picture what it, what it looks like. So yeah, it looks like a sleeping bag. I hate saying that because they're much more beautiful and attractive than that. Like, Yeah, but I mean, um, in terms of like the construction of it, how you like, do you zip yourself in or do you just wrap yourself? Or so what? yeah, you lay down and you pull the right side over and then you pull the left side over and it naturally um, Velcros because it's a oh, little cool. bit weighted because of the amethyst and tourmaline and magnetic therapy. So it's really easy to get into. 
And then what I do is I kind of like stick my left hand out and then I'm like on my phone catching up on emails. I'm getting a workout right. without working out. I'm detoxing. I'm de-stressing and I'm ultimately feeling like a million bucks. And it's like, I don't have to like stop my day-to-day life to do it. And all the gross sweat goes into the cotton clothing that all you put on. All the gross sweat goes into the cotton clothing. You do sweat heaps, but you'd be surprised how much stays in the clothes and actually into the blanket. And then you just wash your clothes afterwards. But yeah, it's like a, it's a really like, you can't believe how good you feel afterwards. Because another thing is infrared is really good for pain because it does warm up the soft tissues and does increase blood flow and circulation and melts away like tension and stress. So your body feels like really like limber and loose and like warm and pain-free. So you feel really great afterwards. So it's a really great biohack. If you're ever at home and you're feeling a little stagnant, jump in there, get that workout without working out while feeling good. And you know, you're good as new. I would venture to say that if I could only have one piece of technology that I use for health, except the Vitamix, that would be number one. <laughs> but <laughs> Besi- you need to eat three times a day. So yeah. It's as- like- aside from the Vitamix would maybe be my number one tool just because I that's how I cook everything. It's just make a slop of a bunch of healthy stuff and gulp it down. <laughs> um, but I think the sauna, and I want to cover some of the more benefits kind of as we come to a close, because there's some that you mentioned like the pain, but I think infrared treatment, whether it be a blanket, sauna, whatever, would be my number one thing that I couldn't that I couldn't give up. Do be- you know why? Why? Because it immediately makes you feel heaps better. Right. Whereas not like not all healthy things make you feel great afterwards. Like sometimes you need to do four acupuncture sessions or you know you need to take an herb for like a month or like there's a lot of things out there that really like are really good for you over a period of time, but they're not always so obvious, the benefits. Whereas infrared in one session, in like just a few minutes of being in it, you immediately feel the benefits and see the benefits. Whereas most things like that are like highly addictive substances like coffee and cigarettes. Right. Well, that's what I wanted to get into is some of the mood benefits. And I like your clever name, Higher Dose. Yeah. Tell people what dose stands for and, and some of the the more elevating um, benefits of the infrared treatment. Yeah. So um, higher dose, dose stands for dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins. And those are your four main happy chemicals. Um, and what we did is we really wanted to communicate doing something healthy for yourself in a very different kind of way, which brought us to get high naturally, because that's ultimately what you're doing. You're using a technology to make you feel good. And, you know, we thought about like happiness and feeling good and getting higher. And then like in that process, we were like searching happy chemicals. And we also learned that infrared releases a ton of serotonin because it is on the invisible light spectrum. Your eye picks up the invisible light and starts releasing serotonin in the brain because it thinks it's in sunlight. What? Yeah. So it it combats seasonal affective disorder. So it's like a ton of serotonin, which antidepressants are just serotonin pretty much. Right. So to get a natural dose of serotonin. Um, and then we just started doing more research and then also speeds up your heart rate to the pace of a light jog, which releases endorphins and then doing something healthy for yourself and like just trying to like think about the reason why we do any of this. And it's because we just all want to feel good. And that's releasing dopamine. It's like, you know, when you're doing something good for yourself. Yeah. And then the oxytocin bit having your own private room and you know having your own private sauna you're not dealing with a whole whack of people that are ruining your experience in, instead you have this very controlled experience with a loved one someone you care about someone that you're you know intimate with enough to get naked in a sauna with someone and you know connect with them you know so that releases oxytocin so the name just sort of naturally progressed and i ultimately think that hi- what higher dose is doing is is more around a movement around you know educating people on how to get high naturally, how to release those happy chemicals. And it's actually going to be much more than just infrared, even though infrared is so powerful and so amazing. We also see ourselves like, you know, talking more about this like biohacking world of like, how do you hack oneself to feel good and release these happy chemicals? That's cool because that's what I was going to um, ask you as my final question. (laughs) Good segue. Are you looking at my notes? Because this is our second time. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. We're we're probably really nailing the points here today. So, um, so the detox, the powerful detox, then the relief of pain and injuries, and sort of just the wear and tear of being physically active, whatever that looks. Increased blood flow, circulation, pulls lactic acid out of the muscles. 
um, and then penetrates your your muscles and your tissues, and you know ultimately like melts them like butter. So your whole body just like feels like super like limber and and juicy and nourished and amazing, and your skin looks all like dewy and flushed because you know you're you're flushing fresh blood throughout the whole entire body, and ultimately a lot of health and wellness things are just like moving stagnation, you know, like right. acupuncture, working out, or you know, what, whatever we do, um, is just getting that fresh blood. Cool. And then, yeah, I think the pain motivation for me is probably why I first started doing the infrared saunas. And that's one thing now why it's just a non-negotiable thing because it's the inflammation and just stiffness and soreness of just being stuck in a freaking human body is uncomfortable. Yeah. I mean, Lady Gaga just came out that, you know, she has fibromyalgia and she says infrared's the only thing that helps her. So oh, wow. it's, it's not just like inflammation or stiffness or arthritis. We're talking like diseases that, you know, you are suffering from copious amounts of pain and, yeah. and how it melts that away immediately. It's just such a beautiful thing. So uh, as you alluded to, there are plans for the future. What do you guys, what's like big picture for you in terms of other integrations or more locations or cities? What are you guys looking at next? So we launched our first location with Equinox um, eight months ago. And the pilot did so well that we're launching seven more locations in the next three months with them. Damn. Which is huge. Wow. Massive. Huge. And we're, we couldn't be more excited about that. And it's open to the public. So you don't have to be an Equinox member, but you should be an Equinox member because how amazing is it to like work out and then go into an infrared sauna and then do your cold water shower right in, right in one place and let everyone else clean up your mess. And yeah, so we're opening seven more locations with them. And then we're opening our first standalone location in Williamsburg where we're going to treat that more like a little biohacking center. Oh, cool. Yeah. We're going to like test out different, you know, services and treatments and different products. And, you know, we're going to have our offices there. It's going to be like our little headquarters. Oh, cool. Cool. Well, if you want any recommendations, feel free to reach out. I know I am going to be because I want to know more about this PMF thing. There's a lot of great stuff. Yeah. And if you have, you know, space for it, which would be easier to come by in Williamsburg, obviously, than Manhattan, probably. If you have space for it, um, some of the modalities aren't even, and the devices aren't that big, mm. but you, you know, you do need a chair or like a gravity chair or something to chill people in while they do said treatment. But there's some, there's four or five pretty needle moving things that are an investment up front. But if you have a situation from a business model where somebody can pay a small fee to use that thing for a finite period of time, a 20 minute session or whatever, you have, I think, a solid business model that's going to serve the customer uh, and also like make sense bottom line wise. So you yeah. can keep the doors open and the lights on. And so these, that's these technologies are all complimentary, you know, totally. to infrared, which is awesome. Yeah. Because anything that loosens up, you know, toxins and gets things moving and flowing, you're going to want that sauna to flush everything out. Yeah. And I like the model of the all in one kind of one stop shop too. And people always email me, Hey, where in New York can I go? Where in LA can I go? I want to try all the things that you talk about. I don't want to buy it myself. Just like they don't, you know, have the ability or the space to buy a sauna. But oftentimes people just want to dip into a place and experience all of the benefits of healing and then get on with their life without having to like learn how to use it and study the manual and go in the groups to learn all the protocols. Like you have a trained staff. It's like, cool. What's up with you? All right. Boom. Go through these three or four things, you're going to walk out feeling like a different person. That's that's really cool to be able to give people that experience. Yeah. And also, because you're so awesome and supporting us, we want to give all your listeners a discount code with your oh, name sweet. on it, literally. Yeah. Use the discount code Luke and you will get a discount to our sauna blankets. So it'll be a $50 Sick. off coupon, which I think is pretty awesome. Oh, thank you. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. I Whenever guests sell something, I always try to put a little heat on them to give the audience a discount. <laughs> so you already came up with that. So thank you for that. That's yeah, great. no, I mean, hopefully, you know, that's interesting to everyone else out there because I just think that, you know, everyone can benefit from infrared no matter who you are. And the more you use it, the more benefits you get from it. Cool. Dope. Well, I'm excited about your uh, Williamsburg expansion. Yeah, hopefully we're the first place you come to as soon as yeah, you land in Keep me posted on that too. And I'll help spread the word in any way that I can. Uh, Okay, so I've learned a lot from you today, as the members of our audience have as well. Who have been three teachers or teachings that have influenced your life and your work that we might be able to go look up and benefit from? So Richard Branson, I mentioned his name last time. I read his biography when I was really young and I just love what the man's about. And I also really loved 
meeting him in real life and and seeing that everything that he has known to be from his you know entrepreneurial amazing family like he he's like this wild guy that always pulls pranks on people that's so funny so down to earth the guy was wearing like five dollar sandals but yet his whole life was around like this wildlife sanctuary and like saving animals he's just like everything that you know you thought he was and more so i was like really um amazed by him i've had a lot of people in my life that have shown me or inspired me in so many different ways but last time i also mentioned ben greenfield I'm going to mention him again. I listen to a lot of his podcasts and I'm like learning a lot of next level therapies through him. You know, I really am inspired by a lot of women these days, and this is not one person, but that just have a really nice like work life family balance. And I think that's really profound, like to to have this like really, really strong career, but like still have like amazing space for your family and to give love and and there's actually a lot of women that are, you know, doing this today in today's day and age. And I'm, and I'm just like watching it because I want that for myself. So I would say um, to all those women out there that have careers that are making a difference, they love their families and, and, you know, everyone in the world, I guess, like they just have so much love to give and they just like, I, you know, are really strong and independent. I think that those, all of those women inspire me. They inspire me too. We could use more of them. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. A totally unexpected answer, but that's awesome. I, I know. Appreciate I that. was like trying to answer it and I'm like, where am I at in my life right now? Yeah. And that's where I'm at is like, I I have this crazy career, but I'm like trying to develop my own family and, you know, being very aware of that while still giving love to other people. And, you know, what I'm working on right now is is to be more grounded, to be more loving, to be more warm. And these are all like motherly energies, but I don't want to lose sight on manifesting around my business either. Right. So I I I'm studying all sorts of like I see very a book in your woman. future, the balanced woman. Right? It's <laughs> yeah, funny because yeah. I have this massive tattoo on my back and it's scales for balance. And everyone thinks I'm a Libra and I got it 10 years ago when I was in a really dark space. And it's all around balance. So cool. There, there you it go. Is. Boom. All right. Where can people find you? Website, social media, et cetera. Yeah. So higherdose.com. Uh, you can book sessions there and you can also purchase your own at-home sauna blanket. You can check us out at Higher Dose for Instagram. And then my own personal Instagram is at Lauren Berlingeri. If you guys you know, want to follow me, that would be awesome. I actually am making more of an effort to communicate and find my own voice over Instagram. It's funny because I was like hosting and doing all of that TV amazing juiciness. And then I like got into being an entrepreneur and I kind of lost myself in that. But I think this year is going to be more focused on like a hybrid of both. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. We'll we'll put it all in the show notes and people can go check you out. Yeah. Thank you. Well, thanks again for coming on the show. Thank you for the couple great sauna experiences I had. You made my trip much healthier and way more fun. And uh, I look forward to seeing what you come up with next. Yeah. Thank you. Hot, hot heat. I don't know about you, but I'm about ready to jump in a sauna. In fact, I might just shut this microphone down, reach behind me and just hop in the sauna right here. Uh, There's nothing I love talking about more than things that feel good, that get you high naturally and are good for your health. So I love sharing this information. If you loved it, make sure you do some sharing too. You know what's up? I'm always going to say the same thing. Share the show with a friend. That's how you can help me reach my 2019 goal of hitting 100,000 downloads per week. I got about 75,000 downloads to go because right now, as we speak, last time I checked, I'm at 25,000 and that's great. I hit my goal of 2 million, by the way, thank you so much for uh, you bringing me to that 2 million download mark. But this 2019, you guys, I'm just gonna be honest, like I gotta keep it moving here. So 100,000 downloads per week, gotta happen. How that's going to happen is by you sharing the link to this show with as many people as you can, as often as you can. I really appreciate you listening. I really appreciate you sharing it. Speaking of sharing, as I mentioned earlier in the intro, our lovely guest, Lauren, has offered a bonus gift to Lifestylist podcast listeners. She's offering a discount on the infrared sauna blanket, which I'm a huge fan of. In fact, I can't wait to take a road trip. I'm going out to... uh, 
Santa Fe, actually, um, the day that this comes out, I will be on a plane. As you hear this, I'm flying to Santa Fe, New Mexico. Take a little break in the snow, uh, but I am flying, so I can't. Well, I guess I could bring my sauna blanket. It's actually packable, but I have to bring a bunch of worn clothes because it's cold as hell out there. But I want to do a road trip and take my sauna blanket with me. I'm really excited about that because I always long for my infrared sauna when I travel. So here's what you can do if you want to get one of these sauna blankets. These are really good, by the way, if you have an apartment. Like if you're living in New York City or somewhere where you don't have a lot of square footage, these things are amazing and you can sweat your ass off and get all the benefits of a sauna just lying there and kind of this sort of space age sleeping bag kind of thing. Here's where you go. Go to higherdose.com forward slash Luke. Use the code Luke to save 15% off your sauna blanket. That's higherdose.com forward slash Luke. And the code is also Luke. That's higherdose.com forward slash Luke. And uh, you can also find this particular item at lukestory.com forward slash store. I really want to get in the habit of reminding the listeners that everything I find in the world that's useful at all in terms of health and well-being, I put a link to it in my store. It's like as I look around my man cave slash office slash podcast studio, just about everything I see is like (laughs) that's health related is linked in my store because I find cool stuff. I've been doing this for 22 years. And when I find rad things, I throw the link to it in my store. I mean, I call it a store. I don't really sell anything if you've heard my spiel before, but I do make it easy for you to go find the things that I talk about because I find it really annoying when I listen to podcasts that give a lot of good information and I don't know what the links are. I have to rewind it. I don't know what they said. It drives me nuts, actually. And that's one of the reasons that I started my own store so that when I have advertisers and sponsors and guests have something that they're selling or want to plug, I have a place to put it. So go to lukestory.com forward slash store. There you will find our friends over at Organifi, one of our uh, show sponsors today. Tonic Wellness Boutique is no, it's not (laughs) actually not at my store, but you can go to Tonic because it's not a thing. It's a place. I was like, wait, yeah, no. Uh, tonicboutique.com and that's a great spa in Hollywood where actually you can go do uh, infrared saunas and a number of other things there and then our other sponsor was Cured Nutrition I love saying that word cured Uh, my little brother Cody he says I ain't cured (laughs) inside joke oh god this is what happens in the outros you guys I cut loose and I get nutty What I really want to say is, more than anything, thank you so much for sharing a great 2018 with me. I'm so excited to bring you this episode, which again is the second episode of the year. I'm going to keep them cranking, including next Tuesday, removing the blocks to life and love with the Paradox Process, featuring Thomas M. Jones, number 185. Subscribe to the show so you don't miss out and play yourself. I'll see you on Tuesday. This episode of the Lifestylist Podcast was produced by podcastmasters.net.